everyone and welcome to Lucha FM Twitch channel. My name is Jonah for anybody that's new. Um, thank you for joining us today. Hope we're all okay, miserable weather aside. Um, where we left off, we are in a bit of a bad run at the moment. We look here, we have lost a lot of games recently. Bearing in mind this was a very poor Bosnia team, so we're not counting them. We just we beat Luton, and then obviously we beat another rubbish, no offence, rubbish team. But you know, but we lost three games in the month of September, and we've lost two games in October, and we've lost to Spurs. We keep losing against the big ish teams, but we're also losing against Notts Forest as well, and Brentford, and so we need to. We're not doing very well in the league this season. We're Massively behind Man United at the moment. We've only got 18 points. They've got 30. It's literally going to be impossible for us to catch up with them. So I don't think we're going to win the title this season. Still in the Champions League. We are currently... Have a look. We're currently 11th in the Champions League. So hopefully we can progress to the knockout rounds. And then do a little bit better than we did last season. When we were... Uh, we lost... A Dortmund in the quarterfinals last season. So hopefully we can do a little bit better this this time around. I hope, like I said, I hope everybody's having a nice day. I've just finished doing a couple of videos for my Everton series on YouTube. So feel free to have a look on there. On uh, if you search for Lucha FM on YouTube, you'll find me on there. Yeah, let's let's crack on a bit now. Let's get some of this season done. Feel free to say hello in the chat if anybody turns up. Always nice to get people that I know already or people that are new. What's everyone been up to today then? I've um I've basically not done much today. I went to I had to go to an appointment somewhere, and that's about it, really. I went to the shop. I bought a, U, a new USB cable last yesterday when I did the stream yesterday. My mic cut out halfway through, and the only way to sort that out to get it working again is restarting the computer. So I had to stop my stream to restart the whole bloody computer. It was very frustrating. And then I bought a new USB cable today for it because it was an issue with the cable on connected to the mic and I've already broken the cable. So it only cost me three quid from Poundland, but it's not it's it's not the best to start. It's a bit frustrating to be honest because I've got to go and get another one tomorrow now. It's because I stupidly um I won't bore you with it, but yeah, it was an error on my part and I snapped I accidentally snapped the mini the mini USB part, the little part of it. But we learn. We have got a team called Athletic Escapade, Escalades, I think they're called. Escalades. Athletic Club de Escalades. And they play in Andorra. I must have some sort of editor file where all these ridiculous teams from ridiculous countries end up qualifying. They've literally got, they've only got three real players. Gonna be another twelve nil drilling, probably eleven probably beat them eleven nil. I wanna play the big teams, I don't wanna play these rubbish teams. Is this uh is this reflection on real is this what the Champions League is gonna be in real life? We want we wanna include people. We're gonna have teams that are just not let's be honest, just not good enough at all playing in Champions League group matches. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Sell a couple of these clauses, get Bring in some money. Did my um my first edited video for YouTube yesterday, and I didn't do a very good job of it. Um, yeah, I've got to try and get better at editing. It is not as easy as it looks. 
make it look like it's really easy to do and it's not. Especially with me, because I say um, ah, and like a lot, which can put people off. I have to try and edit myself. So when I was, when I was doing my videos earlier, I really tried hard not to say um, ah, and like, but also just accept that if I do say it, I do say it. Um, similar to what I just did then. I think it's my way of my brain trying to get me ready for the next sentence, and that's why I keep saying it. Should be easily sorted. I'll have a look on Google and see how uh, people can do it. Right there, so the team we'll play, the team lineup for this game is Pope in goal, Trippier is right back, Mancini and Botman in the middle defence, Byrne on the left, Sinali in the middle with Bruno Gomez. Paul, I'm going to try and figure out how to pronounce his name. I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. How do you say Angel Korea? Okay. Uh, Angel Korea. I want to pronounce. There you go. Let me let me listen to this clip here. Pronounce names dot com. There you go. Nice little shout out there. Angel. Correa. Angel Correa. There you go. Angel Correa. Angel. There you go. Angel Correa. I was right. Raheem Diaz. Uh, Anthony Gordon on the left. And Ossenhen uh, up front. Right, Raheem with the ball now. I can't imagine this is going to be anything other than an absolute rubbing by us, but we'll see. I think what I'm going to do, if it's like 4 or 5 nil within the first half, I'm just going to change it to commentary only, just to get it the match done quickly. Because the last match when we played and we won 11 nil just took forever. I just, just got boring after a while. Korea now. Lovely little pass to Anthony Gordon. Part of a goal I used to score on FIFA uh, 11. That was my trademark goal. Pass it into the box, tap it in. Wasn't very, I wasn't the best at shooting, so I did the uh, dodgy goal that we, we all did. And then moaned when anybody else did it. Anthony Gordon now. The tackle by that player there. Oh, we intercepted the ball. Now we burn. What can he do with it? Drives it forward to Gordon again. Gordon now. Literally identical goal than the last one, but Anthony Gordon is the supplier this time. Ibrahim Diaz. So two basic identical goals. Packing on the left wing, passing it into the box. The corner now, can we make it 3 0? Yes, we can. Bruno Gomez with the goal. Three nil. Twenty three minutes play. We've got the ball again. What can we do? This is it to Pope? Nice to let him have some of the ball because he's probably not going to have much of the ball in this game by the looks of it. He'll be standing there as a bystander. Mancini now with the ball. Pass it to Tanali. Tanali with a beautiful over the top ball. Oh, and another beautiful ball. That was a that was a lovely goal. That was that, honestly that was a brilliant goal. Trippier now. We're going to make it 5-0. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, a corner to us. I had no idea what was happening there. 
Alright, Trippier now. Close the cross in. Burn now. Raheem Diaz. Finale. Sky is it high? Mancini. Are we announced? Trippier. Yeah, I think what we're going to do, because it's 4 0, second half, I'm just going to put it on commentary because this match is going to take forever, of course. Not, it's not really a match worth watching because we're just absolutely destroying them. Raheem Diaz now. I mean, if anything, if I could end the, the match now at 4 0, I'd just take it. I wouldn't care. Because we are absolutely destroying them. They've had no shots at all, and we've had. 17 shots and 3.12 xg and now we've just scored in the one the big man scores dan burn i think they're all trying to fight it out for man of the match here we've got Faria with two assists we've got brahim diaz with two goals Right, let's speed that up. We'll do commentary only. Let's get this match done now. Another goal. Ten Hen gets a goal. Another goal. Diaz gets a goal. Another one gets his hat trick. Oh, scored another one. Bruno Gomez. Oh, scored. Another. I swear to God, every shot we have is going in. Angel Correa. We've got Angel Correa with three assists and a goal, and we've got Brahim Diaz with three goals. Right, let's take off Trippier. He's knackered. Who can we put on for him? Oh, we'll just put Target in there. Doesn't really matter at this point when we're winning 9 0. we get another one just before the end of the match and we match the result that we had in the last Champions League game probably not take 9-0 we're happy with that it's a good little morale booster for the for the players now fourth in the, the Champions League Mambo TV doing right game okay you know a lot of hopes on this Mambo TV doing well enough oh Southgate looking at Open Kieran Trippier, Dan Byrne, and Anthony Gordon. Chris Marley signs a new contract. Uh, Brian Kidd announces he'll retire at the end of the season. That's a shame. He wants to enjoy his, his uh, retirement, though. I don't blame him. Wish I was retired. I wish I had the money to be retired. Oh, hello to whoever's just joined the chat. Nice to hear from Nice to see you. Feel free to say hello. Hope you enjoy the stream. Currently managing Newcastle in season two. Um, won the Premiership last season. Not doing as well this season, but I just beat doing quite well in the Champions League group that I'm in. Signed Leo, Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Busquets, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba. Got a Barcelona retirement tour happening here. I also signed Victor Osimhen. 
Hopefully I'll sign some other top players soon as well. I'm hoping to get some more money in January, so feel free to keep watching, see how far I can get into that one. Any questions about the save, feel free to ask in the chat. Other than that, in in, in hope I'm hope I entertain you while you're here. Uh Minty playing fairly well. Good. Doing well. Two goals, four assists in eleven games so far. He's gonna be a good player he is. Right then. We got Pope in goal, Trippy right back. Dio Mande in centre back uh, partnership with Inecio, target left back Bruno Gomez and Tonali in midfield. Then we got Messi back as right wing, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osimhen up front. One nil, sorry, I forgot to take I forgot to put it back on how it was before, so I apologize for that. We'll put highlights again. Get back on that now. Hold on. We'll just show the goal again, people who missed it. There we go. Lovely little header by Tenali. I hope we win this game, but I always get my hopes up. This is way too quick. Hold on. Yeah, it's slower, it's better. I always get my hopes up and then we end up losing. Even though when we take the lead. If we get another goal, I might be a little bit more happier. But I mean Chelsea might end up scoring at any moment now. That was a terrible pass target. I don't know what you're doing, but thank God Gonzalez rescued you then. Saved your bacon. Oh lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Arsenal starting to get his scoring boots on. He scored in the last game. He's got got three and three so far in the Champions League. He's got four in seven, so he's now got five in eight games. Um, overall, he's got seven goals in eleven appearances. So I'm very happy with his contribution to the season so far. I would like another goal simply because Chelsea's had three shots and if three of them are on target and you know, they've got it in them to score. So if we get another goal, it might take the wind out of their sails, so to speak. Messi you now. Oh, come on, let's get another one. Offside. Ah, that's unfortunate. Right, 2-0 at half time. I'm happy with that. Now let's just try and keep this lead or extend it. Let's try not to concede and put the pressure on us. We don't do well under pressure. That's it, that's it. Brian Diaz. He's had another good season for us. Scored a hat trick in his last game. Or he got a hat trick of assists, I can't remember now. Uh yeah, he got yeah, he got he got um, he got three goals in his last game. Granted, we were playing a team equivalent of the Barana Rama Conference, but no, uh, he still scored. Sorry, this this mass makes my top of my head itchy. There we go. Normal. There we go. Right. Bruno Gomez is knackered, so we'll substitute him, but we haven't really got anyone we can put on. Let's have a look, let's have a tinker. We do that. Ah, there we go. Do that. We've got a penalty coming our way. Gonna send him off. Penalty review is VR. Yes. Gonna kill this game off, hopefully. 
Messi, the goat, gets a goal here. Lines up nicely. Is he going to score? He does. Of course he does. It's bloody Messi. Lionel, the goat, Messi, scores. How many goals has he got this season? Uh, three, four in 11 games so far. It's not too bad considering his age. He gets 10 goals for the season and 10 assists. I'll be happy with that. All right, let's take off Ossiman. Back on. Take off Brahim Diaz. Let's put Aria on. Oh, can't take off Tenali. Knackered. Something. Knackered. But there we go. Put Mancini in there. Right, let's just see this game up now. Try not to make any mistakes. Seem to be comfortably winning here. Hopefully this will be start of a good run for us in the Premiership. Be a good little win to boost the morale of the players. Oh, we're going to get another one before the end of the game. Oh, nearly. All right, let's uh, get this game done now. Well done, lads. All right, so we haven't got a game for 15 days, so I'm going to go a little bit quiet and just have a look online while I'm waiting for this to finish up. Feel free to go have a drink or something while you're waiting if you are watching this. Hopefully it won't take too long with my decent -ish laptop. Right then, so we're uh, coming up towards the end of the holiday. So uh, um, hopefully we won't have many major injuries from internationals. I never understand why we have so many internationals anyway. They're so boring. I never watch them anymore. 
only watched like the big tournament games. I might as well just keep it. Maybe have a few qualifying games and that's it, really. I wouldn't. All the international friendlies that don't make sense to me. Especially with Gareth Southgate, because he just picks the same bloody players every time. Harvey Barnes in happy, so we're going to sell him, I think, for the better of his career. We'll get a decent fee for him, being because he's English and stuff. So uh, hopefully we can reinvest that in other areas. Add a percentage of the profit. Any other players in this one? Got Messi, number seven. That's good. What about Ossiman? There's Ossiman. The Newcastle players? No. I've got Neymar shortly. Uh, any other? Oh, there we go. Ossiman. The 36. More? No. Hopefully that will change in time. Actually, I could do with uh, shortlisting a single one of these players. No, most of these won't come to us, but you never know. Mo Salah, I love Mo Salah at, at Newcastle. To be honest, I'd love any player from this list on our. In Newcastle colours. I am um, yesterday I bought a um, last season's Newcastle top for 17 grid on eBay in my size, so I'm happy with that. I had um this season's for 25 quid, but I just, just thought I'd go for the cheaper option. Especially as it's not going to be a massively long term save. Um, yeah, that's what I did. Got Leo and Anderson and I. Not that any, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think we're going to sign any of these, but we'll have them to the shortlist in case they kick off and they want to leave and take advantage of that because we've got the money to be able to buy them. Frankie Dion would be a good player. I can't afford him at the moment. Sign him. No, we can't sign him. I'm not even going to attempt to try and sign any of these. I haven't got the money or the wage budget either, so there's no point. Bruce. Foden. Inos. On our shortlist. Bella. Unde, Son, Rubak, Grant, Roman, we got him on the list, and we got him on our list, Rashford, Baba, got him on the list, him, Stones, that, got two players in there, there we go. Get through this typical he moans about first team football, so I send him out on loan and he's not getting any first team football. And he's completely digressed, digressed since then, and I can't recall him. That's annoying. Praise him, I'll praise him for his brain development. All right, oh, and yet Joe injured for one or two days.
Archie Gray would be a very good, oh, by the way, very good signing to make. And Div Maladidi is going to uh, try and offer him out. I'll just offer him out on a free bit of him. Um, Almiron's back to full training, that's good. Dan Neal, who I tried to sign in my Everton save uh, today, but he went to West Ham instead. Uh, add Lucas Fernandez to our list. I feel like my mask is a bit lopsided, I don't know why. Um, right, we'll add him as well. Suarez out for six weeks. Inte had another good match. Raise his loan spell again. Vincent, no. Oh, didn't like that, did he? Uh, oh, he did alright in that game, typical. As soon as I transfer, you just start playing well. Da -da -da. Through these. He play well again? Yeah, he did. Well done, Minty. Anybody in the chat, if they're watching, I don't know if you remember these. I remember these as a kid, I used to be addicted to these. Right, sorry about that, I just needed some sugar. Right, we've got Man City away. This is going to be a very tough game. I think we might do okay. We've got Pope in goal, Trippier right back, Diamande, central defence with Botman, targets left back, Bruno Gomez and Tanelli in the middle of midfield, Messi on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle of midfield, uh, attacking midfield, and Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and then Austin Hearn on the front. Anyone new in the chat? Hello, nice to meet you. Um, my name is Jonah. I am one with the one in um, that you can watch right. The one that you're watching right now. Sorry, getting my words all muddled up today. Oh, what a goal! What a goal by Tenali! What an absolute goal! Oh no, De Bruyne! I feel he's going to score this. Oh, great save by Pope. Players look like they want to win this game. Hopefully that will work in our favour. Alright, come on then. Let's keep this. Let's can try and control this game a bit now. Oh no. No, that's the last thing we needed. Ugh. Okay, take him off. Go Linton in there. It's the last thing we needed. And giving them a free kick as well, which they've cleverly done there. I don't even know what happened there, but it looks like it's going to be offside, hopefully. Come on, VAR. Oh. I had such high hopes in this game and, and then Bruno gets sent off and now I'm going I hope we get a draw and I don't think we will 
after that after that win as well in the previous game, I thought we were going to turn things around. Typical of FM, they don't want you to win, they won't you won't win. See? Raylish scoring a header. Does he ever score headers? He's always bothered about his hair and he getting his hair all messed up. I can't imagine him ever header in a ball. Right, so I'm just going to change it to positive. Best form of defence is a good form of attack. Always remember that. Right, Botman now. Target. What can he do? Puts inside, loses the ball. That is not what we want. Now Man City are just, just absolutely storming ahead here. There you go. Oh, good save by Pope. Thank you, Pope. Alright, let's see if we can try and more gentle approach and let's try and encourage the players. Hopefully that will work for us. We get a draw out of this against Man City. I won't be like static, but I'd be okay with it considering we've only got ten men against them. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I think they're gonna absolutely fresh us now. I think it mostly be because of Bruno, but they're not scored in a one yet, so there's always a chance. As long as we can keep this at 2-1, we can always have a chance of getting a late goal, making it 2-2. Two -two. Right. Their highlight again. This is not voting well here, is it? Come on, yeah. let's try and get some, there we go, we've got the ball back, hopefully we can turn this into something. There we go, lovely ball by Pope, we lose it again, that's not good. Come on, let's get the ball back, get possession back. Oh, goalkeeping calamity there, but luckily we defended it. Come on, we've got to try and get another goal, we've got to try and get a goal here. All right, after this highlight, I'm going to make some subs. Okay. Oh, that's that then. Oh, well. Down to seventh now. I feel like we go one step back and then two... We go one step forward and two steps back. Very frustrating. Completely different to how we were last season. And last season, we didn't... I think this season's squad is probably a little bit better with... Osimhen and Messi, but seem to be, and our defence is better, I reckon. Oh, probably a reason why we're losing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine players on the pitch. We've managed to get one back. Can we can we get an equaliser with nine men? Is it possible? Maybe. We've got nothing to lose. We might as well just go very attacking at this point. Come on, one more. Can we get can we get something out of this? No, we probably can't. Ah. Oh no, no, I've got hopes up there. They might score another one here. 
went too far forward, I think. Oh, there we go. Uh, end the highlight. That's it. Oh, well. At least we didn't lose. For, at least we got a goal back at the end, but it's still bad. Seventh. Twelve points behind them now. Oh, we were 12 points behind them before the game, so it doesn't matter. Bruno, he let us down there, mate. Mancini out for two to three weeks as well. And we just paid Roma 10 million. Um, okay, nice. Got another Champions League game next. I think the aim now is to concentrate on the Champions League and just try and get try and get a top four finish in the Premiership just in case we don't win the Champions League. There's no no not gonna definitely win the Champions League. We might be in there in the mix, but not we we played AC Milan in the first game of the Champions League and we lost two one, so it doesn't give me complete hope that we can do that. Hopefully another Champions League game that we can win convincingly. The team we're playing is a very good team, if I remember. They're from Bella, no, Azerbaijan. I could be wrong. Soon find out. Right then. Line up for Champions League game. Open goal, Trippier right back. Libramento in centre defence with Botman. Target on the left. Bruno in midfield with Tonali. Maria, right wing. Raheem Diaz in the middle. Pedro Gonzalez on the left. And Osimhen up front. What we'll do in this game, similar to the last game, if we're winning 4 or 5 nil, we'll change it to commentary only on the fastest speed just to get the match done because at that point there's no it's not enjoyable really is it uh, okay, uh anybody got any exciting evening plans i am going to be looking after my poorly girlfriend when she comes back from work because she feels a bit run down and a bit ill someone from her work uh got covid my partner even though she took, and my partner thought she might have COVID, but as of, at the as at the moment she hasn't because she took a test and she's negative. Luckily, I don't want bloody COVID. Um, I've had COVID before. I had both of them, short one and the long term one, and I hated it. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. What's going on with this highlight? The game stalled or something? What's going on? Let's see if that'll fix it. There we go. Something weird happening there. Target just standing there. Oh, it wasn't Target. Oh, it was Target, yeah. Pedro Gonzalez now. Oh. No goals as of yet. Very encouraging. They're in possession now. Got it back. Bruno, come on. You've got to make up for uh, losing us the game against Man City here. Ooh. Bit of a boring game, this one for me and for you. Watch. Expecting this to be 3 or 4 nil up by now. Maybe this team is a, a lot tougher than I thought they would be. Right, Korea now. Uh, let's have a look, see what. I think they're just. I think they're a team in Azerbaijan. Yeah, Azerbaijan. Nickname Oil Workers. 
not saying the Azerbaijan League is rubbish, but you don't expect. I mean, they have been the champions, the champions of the Azerbaijan a few times and then runners up. So they used. To, I don't know if they still have. They used to have a decent. Um, I think they used to have a decent national team, but I can't, I can't remember. I might be getting them mistaken with Armenia. Right then now, Libramento to Tenali. Bruno. Pedro. Maria. What a goal. What a goal by Pedro. That's what we needed, Lance. We needed a goal. For the first half, settle the nerves a bit. Hopefully we can go on now and score a few, but they equal I oh, know it's our it's our highlights so right. Alright, Tonali now. Passes out wide to target. Target would he float it in? He does. Oh, Osman with the header hits the post back to Trippier. They score an equaliser before the first half finishes. Let's hope not. Oh, they bloody do. That was a good goal by them. Fair play. Annoying that they're wearing stripes. We should be wearing stripes. No Linton knackered, so we've just replaced him. Get a goal now, lads. Come on. We shouldn't be drawing against these. No offence, but we shouldn't. The Newcastle United, damn it, and we should be winning. We're the champions of England. Yes, that's what I like to see. Awesome end scoring again. I don't know why, but awesome end just seems like the player that it should, like, in real life, Newcastle should be trying to sign, really. But I suppose with financial fair play, they probably can't sign him. They should get rid of financial fair play because it, it doesn't work because the clubs find other ways to spend money and dominate. So they might as well just let teams pick where they want to pick. We just conceded a, uh, a penalty. Yeah, we have as well. Ooh. Ah, you'll sit. Ah. Damn it. I'm going to berate the team. I'm not happy with them right now. Osman is knackered, so he needs to come off. He's knackered, hopefully, if he comes on. He does. Hopefully he can be a winner for us. Show me that he's still a good enough player for us. He's at now. Running with the ball to Bruno. Bruno floats over to Correa. Correa floats it in. He scored. Clearance by them. Right now, Trippier. Maria. Oh, foul by them. Is this going to be a penalty? Is VAR going to come to our rescue? One of our players is injured now. Penalty awarded. But Isaac now lines up to take it. Will he score? Short runner. He scores a beautiful penalty. Look at that. Showing me, he's saying, look, boss. I'm still part of this team, remember that. I hear you, I hear you, don't worry, I hear you. Hurry and out. Ah, uh, there we go. Is that going to be allowed though? Probably not. Bloody hell, the referee's been busy in this game, hasn't he? Yep, goal awarded. That's what we like to see. Let's kill this game off now. Right. Swap these two over. Oh, like that. With Bruno having a rest. And, uh... Oh, shoot. Popped up there. Anybody else knackered? Yeah, yeah, we'll put... Oh, we can't. Oh, well.
think he's offside. I think, I think he was offside. Seemed like he was offside. Another bloody VAR call. They have been busy. Yeah, I, I weren't expecting that to be a goal. Time just run too, too early. Let's not, let's not concede a goal. Let's just... Yeah, let's just... Oh, you never know. We might turn this into goal. He's up now. Run through the players like they're nothing. Like a knife through butter. Target now. Boats in. Back to uh, Joe Linton. Joe Linton with the header. That's good. 5 2 win. Done well. Right, have we secured a playoff place? Not yet. It's annoying. He's tripped. Target, sorry. Are we in the Champions League group? The ninth. Strong grats have done well. Fair play to them. They got any good players? I suppose it's a fairly decent team for Austrian football, I suppose. I've always fancied doing an Austrian league, so well, I just don't know who this one is. I'm open to suggestions. West Ham next game. We're currently eighth in the Premiership, but I feel like we're going further and further down the league. Seem to be doing really well in the Champions League. We're doing terrible in the Premiership. It's like the team don't want to win the champ Premiership. They just want to win the Champions League. Fair enough, because a lot of them did win the Premiership last season. But but you should always want to win you win the domestic league. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I apologize. You still see me okay? Fine. Right, let's crack on. Right then. So, uh, Pope in goal, Libermento is right back. Uh, Diomandi in the uh, middle of defence with Inicio. Dan Byrne on the left, Sergio Busquets and Jolin in the middle of the midfield. Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Isaac up front. Uh, bear with us, I've just got to do something. Bear with us. I'll do it afterwards, sorry. Right then. Bit of a quiet game this one. Messi with the corner though. Out to Isaac. Isaac. 
Back to Messi. What did Messi do? Almiron. Yes, that's what I like to see. Pedro Gonzalez. You doing well this season? Three goals in 18 games with four assists is not too bad. Quite consistent performer. And he's ended up being a good signing, valued at 87 to 95 million. Paid 50 million for him. So we if we sold him for that amount, we'd double that money. Not that we'd want to sell him because we want him to be part of the team. We want to build a team around players like him and Inicho and so basically want to sign players from Sport and Lisbon and just end up sending them for money in the long run. All right, Isaac now. Oh, yes. Isaac's playing well lately. He's come on as a substitute, scored two goals, scored again. He's obviously trying to tell me something, isn't he? Maybe I need to change formation. Two strikers instead of one. You know what? We go back up to seventh if it stays the same. Um, then again, two teams only play thirteen games. When it comes to my tactical decisions, I mostly just substitute players if they're knackered or if the assistant manager recommends it or if they're not playing very well I tend to just let the assistant deal with it some would say it's probably quite not entertaining really but it's just how i play football manager it isn't not everyone's cup of tea but some people probably don't like the micro managing side of it and they probably just prefer the way i do it uh we're all different at the end of the day Coming up towards the halfway point of the stream now. It's done just an hour. I'm going to do an hour more. And got a bit of time to uh, edit the video that I've done today. And then hopefully I can do that before my girlfriend comes back. And I can put the tea on for her. Um, she'll probably be in, she'll probably be asleep on the sofa within an hour. She did that last night. Uh, and, I'll, and then that means I get to watch what I want on telly while she's asleep. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. What do they want to do here? Uh, oh, they want to increase the wage budget. Yes, I'll happily accept that. What I've been wanting you to do for ages now. All right. So let's draw all teams. Let's see who we end up playing. And Arsenal in the next round of the FA Cup. We couldn't have asked for a worse tie. Here's a way, though. We, at least we'll get a decent amount of money from it. I'm hoping... Not, I'm hoping they don't do it as... Uh, what, it, what happened last season was literally the, about two days before the January window ended. My chairman decided to give me 90 million. He could have given me the start of the window, but he decided to give me it towards the end, which was very annoying. I managed, but I managed to sign. Let's get rid of this first. All right, go back to this. Oh, why is that still there? Can you just go away. That's it. There you go. All right, sorry about that. My OCD doesn't let me just ignore it. Right, um, so last season when we got that money towards the end of the new transfer window was on Ali Coop, signed Mancini, that was the player that we signed. We were going to sign Osimhen, but we waited until the summer to sign him because we were a bit low on quality centre-backs, um, whereas we had... Isaac and and we got we had Makuku on loan from Dortmund, 
I felt like we were all right for strikers. I just felt like it was a waste of money signing Ossiem in January and waited, which could have backfired on me because Real Madrid were after him, but they never made an offer for him in the end. So I went for him in Ossiem in the summer and managed to sign him. Don't think he would have come to us if we hadn't won the Premier League. I recall you yet? No. I want to try and get this month done as quickly as possible. Try and get to January ready for the next stream. Bear with me two seconds. Just yeah. uh, right. Right. Okay. Sorry about that. Back on it now. There we go. Okay. So Bernardo Silva wants to stay. Well, that's a shame because I was hoping to bring you in. Let me see if uh, we get the ball to do it. Great little signing if we can. That's a shame. I'd have been buzzing if we were able to get him in. Go for a loan for him. I don't think we'll be able to get Bernardo Silva, but you never know. You never know. He'll be... If we get money in January, I'm going to wait and see if I can go for him. He's only got two years left on his contract. See if he'll come to us. He might not come to us. Yeah, he wouldn't be interested. So he's acknowledged that we're we're a good presence in England, but wants to be more recognised on a European level. Obviously, Man City aren't willing to sell him anyway. No. So, oh well. And Osimhen is out for two weeks, but when well, we've got Isak banging in the goals. It's not a major concern, much as it would be usually. All right, can we convince the board to give us a chance of budget increase? No. Can we get them to increase the wage budget again? Oh, well, worth a try. Always worth a try because sometimes randomly they will accept and you will get money. Right, so we're playing Leicester City away in the next game in the Premiership. And we've got Pope in goal. Libramento was right back. In HO in the centre defence with Botman. Target left back. Sergio Busquets it plays the game with Tonali. Correa on the right. Almiron in the middle. Gordon on the left. He's up up front. I feel like we're strong enough to beat Leicester with this team, but we'll see. Right now, target, Hotman, Gordon, will that be allowed by Iniecho, will that goal stand, hopefully not, thank you VAR. Getting a lot of uh, yellow cards in this first half. That could be quite concerning. And we're, we've got our right, we've got right back and left back knackered. No, midfielder. Yeah, Busquets is getting a bit old, isn't he? All right, let's uh, come on, Tele. Let's run, 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 run. Uh, oh, go on, Gordon. 
Ooh. Panda did enough to pull him off. Gordon's still in possession now. Right. Stets, take you off. Stets, Diomande. Didn't realise Diomande could play in a defensive midfield position. That's good. No. I uh, just say happy 80th birthday to my nan who unfortunately died last year. It would be her, it would have been 80 this year. Um, very well missed by me and my my family, more, especially my mom who was very close to my nan. Bit of a sad day today, but um, she wouldn't want me moping around and being depressed and down about it. She wants me to celebrate. So I'm going to have a little bit of tropical rum with some... Lemonade, just the one. I'm not really a big drinker, but she likes to have a little bit of a party, so I'm going to have a drink and toast my nan's birthday. And penalty to us, I think, yes. Exact now, but yeah. Uh, God, God bless her, I do miss her. Yep, Isaac with the goal there from the penalty spot. Might have to rest some players in the next game because there's getting quite a few players are getting knackered now. Try and keep this lead. Not let's not concede. No, 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 no. Here we go. Come on, Coot. Oh, that was a terrible. That was a terrible back pass by Isaac. Isaac. That's not what you you've been doing well. You have scored the penalty spot and then you turned from hero to zero there. Every single one of our defenders is booked as well. I've never seen that before. Now he's booked. We're just, just getting bookings for the sake of it now, aren't we? Right, Trippier now. Leicester with another free kick. This is this is not what we need. Thank you. Right, let's just calm it down a bit now, please. Let's try and fire up the players. Even though I've just said let's calm down. Under the reverse of what I asked for. Oh well. Could have been worse, I suppose. We're uh, nine points behind Man City, which isn't as bad as it was one or two games ago. But I think they've got a game ahead of us. Now they've played the same amount of games, but Man United's got Man United Liverpool's got them um, got game ahead of us. Oh, hello to the people in the chat room. Thank you for joining. Feel free to uh message me in the chat if you want to talk, if you want to ask me about my save. For uh, people who are new to this stream. I'm managing Newcastle. I'm in season two at the moment. I won the Premiership in my first season, but not doing very well in the Premiership this season. Uh, I signed Lionel Messi in the summer of season two, and also Victor Ossenhen. So uh, some good signings there. Currently doing well in the Champions League, but not doing well in the Premiership. So it's a bit frustrating. But yeah, feel free to. Stick around if you're entertained, if you want to see how I'm doing. I'm hoping to get some money in, ja in January to make some more signings. Um, I hope you like my Ray Mysterio mask. I'm a big wrestling fan and I've got a bit of a collection of wrestling masks now. I bought quite a few masks because I wanted to I want to wear a mask when I'm streaming and recording. Just to make me stand out a bit and I tried all different ones. I, in my first couple of streams, I wore this blue uh, blue demon mask, and it wasn't it wasn't very good. So I've got the Rey Mysterio mask now. Um, so yeah, there you go. But yeah, so if you want to talk about wrestling, you want to talk about football, you want to talk about Football Manager, you want to talk about Newcastle United, you want to talk about Marseille, or just you just want to chat, feel free. 
more so uh probably could probably give you decent advice when it comes to life in general i'm nearly 40 so i've uh, been there and done that a bit i suppose yeah for thank you for joining i do appreciate it let me know what you've been up to today if you don't mind makes me feel better for not talking it makes me feel like i'm not talking to myself um right so we've got a bit of a rotated team by the looks of it here so we've got sherpin in goal libramento right back Dio mande center defense with inacio Jordi alba as left back sergio busquets and joe in midfield midfield messi on the right alma in the middle gordon on the left and osset up front See if we can, uh, we should be able to beat Crystal Palace, surely. I mean, they're 17th at the moment. They've only got 12 points. Oh, here we go. I've just jinxed myself here. No, Sherpin with the save. Not bad. He's not, he only didn't cost us anything, Sherpin. He's been a decent backup when he's been playing. He's not been playing badly, to be honest. He's been doing quite well. Right, Gordon now. Almiron passes it to Jordi Alba. Up to his mate Sergio Busquets, Inecio, Diamande. Oh, foul. Is that going to be a penalty? I think that was outside the box, wasn't it? Is it inside the box? VAR will soon tell us. Taking their time. Right, penalty review. What's going to happen here? No penalty. Fair enough. I think it was just outside the box, personally. It should have been a free kick if it was going to be anything. I think if I'm wearing a Ray Mysterio mask, I think surely I should be going trying to sign some good Mexican players. Maybe Raul Jimenez. But he wouldn't really play when I've got uh, awesome. What a great goal by the GOAT. That was a great goal, that was. I'm going to uh, watch that again. I'm going to slow it down. Uh, we go behind goal or do behind the goal right let's try and watch the replay of this look at this ah that for a free kick all right let's change it back is it director before i think it was director before yeah lionel messi the goat i would i used to say Ronaldo, uh, cristiano ronaldo was the best player ever but I've changed my opinion on that now. I think Lionel Messi, the greatest of all time. It's always been neck and neck though between them when it comes to individual and uh, the achievements they, they achieved in their teams that they played for. The only thing I would say about Messi up until the last couple of years of his career, he only ever did it at Barcelona, but then he won a league title in France with PSG. So I think he did. I could be wrong. I think PSG won the French league when he was there. Now he's doing relatively well at. I know he's out injured, but he was doing relatively well at Inter Miami as well. 2 0 up against Crystal Palace. So I'm just going to praise the team. Gordon and Messi with the goals. Sergio Busquets, Inecio now. Jordi Alba. The old boys doing well here. A mixture of a few old boys and a few young prospects. This is a nice little balance between youth and experience. And then he scored there. You don't want to concede a goal for half time. Simply because it gives us gives them hope and they just bloody scored. I shouldn't have said anything, should I? I just had a feeling it was gonna happen. Right, we've got a free kick. Messi, Gordon, drives it across, goes wide. Should have come inside. Should have come inside and scored his right foot or something. Right, Go Linton now passes it in. I think that was Almiron that had the shot. 
We're all over and we, sh uh, we should win this. I mean, we're winning now, I'm just saying, but we should win this in general. To get another goal or two in the second half. Cameron's not playing very well, so... But, hurry on. Hopefully that'll, uh, he'll, hopefully he'll impact the game in a positive way. Their goalkeeper's slightly injured, so that might work in our favour if they don't sub him. Jordi Alba now, all the way back to Pope, um, Sherpin, sorry. Sherpin to Dio Mande. Libramento now. Floats in. What a cross. We're unlucky there by Gordon. Gordon's still got possession, has he? Gives it to Jordi Alba. No, end of highlight. Well, Skets is not playing very well. Can we put anybody on for him? Um, put Tenali on. As long as we keep this lead, I'm happy. I'm worried that, because it's 2-1, I'm worried that Crystal Palace will always have a chance to get a goal. Let's get another one, please. That's what I like to see. Ango Korea, super sub, tactical decision, good tactical decision by me. Right, Libramento can't come off because can't make any more subs. Oh well. So we're now six, so we've gone from like eight to six after that game, I think. And now it's still got a game ahead of us, but we're nine points behind Man City. Um, it was Man City that are top. Can we get another one? I'd love another goal. Messi with a beautiful ball to Correa. Correa again. He's, he's turned out to be a right super sub for me. That was a great decision. Not that I'm going to toot me own all, but it is. Messi's played really well as well. Two, two assists and one goal for Messi. He'll probably get man of the match if Correa doesn't get it. No Linton now. Ah, oh, lucky. Maybe a, uh, that was messy, messy would have scored that. Great result there, lads. Didn't see who got man of the match there, sorry. Didn't, oh yeah, man, it was messy. Messi got man of the match, well done. Of course he's going to get man of the match, he's the bloody goat. I'm just not going to even, I'm not going to pay attention to his anymore. Um, Minte still playing well. Doesn't like it when I praise him though. So, okay. Every time, every time. Right, Messi, praise you. Hey, I forgot I even signed him and sold him. Signed him on a free and sold for twelve million the next year. Great little deal that was. He only played four games for us as well. Um. We get another 2.9 million as well. Probably like 15 million. Red Bull Salzburg next game. We, could, we definitely need to win that game, to be honest. Keep our Champions League dream alive. We're still getting the final eight spots, I think. Um, right, get this done. Surfing out for a couple of days. Hope we've got hope Pope's back in by then. We got a goalkeeping crisis ahead of us. That's all right, Pope will be back by then, it's fine. Yeah. 
Inti had another good game. I'm not going to bother praising you because you'll just moan at me. He's obviously, he's obviously uh, doesn't think very much of himself because he doesn't like taking praise. Mancini's slowly coming back from that injury. That good. We need him in the. Uh, he's a very good centre defender, to be honest. So, uh, his lineup for the game against Red Bull Salzburg. First team we played since AC Milan that would be actually decent competition for us, so we, we, might, sh we might not do well. So, Pope's in goal, Trippi on the right, Mancini's back in defence with Botman, Target on the left, Bruno Gomez in the middle with Tonali, Lionel Messi on the right, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle of midfield, Bourne on the left, and Osimhen up front. Very strong team. See what we can do. Right, we've already got a highlight in the first minute, so that might be good. Right, Tonali now drives it forward. Oh, it floats it in. Header. Tonali. Oh, look at that. And then he doesn't score rubbish goals, does he? Every time I've seen him score a goal on FM, he just seems to be an absolute wildy. 1 0 after two minutes, and we'll take that. Can we end the game now, please? Currently, uh, our state of play was six in the Champions League group, which means we'll be in the final eight. What we want to be. That's Spartak Moscow, they're, they're doing uh, quite well in this one. Domino Zagreb. Look the teams you don't expect to be in the final eight. Right now, Pedro Gonzalez, the floater. That Victor Osimhen is it going to be allowed though. Ooh, VAR. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, let's see what we can do here with this free kick. Lionel Messi scored an absolute brilliant free kick in the last game. Nearly scored another one. That goalkeeper made a right catastrophe of that. All right, throw into us. Nani. Lovely little ball to Anthony Gordon. 2 0. Hopefully, that means we'll qualify for the final eight of the Champions League. Let's hope. Trippier now. Mancini. Get another goal. Kill this game off. Target's not playing very well, so we'll take him off in a second. No, we won't because we can't actually down down burn. No. Is he a good player? I swear he's a good player. I can't remember. Scout him. French player. Might be worth signing down the road. Right, let's try and keep this lead. I didn't want to concede, but these things happen. If we get another one, it will uh, relax us a bit. Messi needs to come off. He's tired. Put career on, super sub career. Scored two goals last game. You going to score another one here? Any time will tell. There he is over here on the uh, side there. Gordon now. No, well, right. Gordon's knackered, so we'll put it, take him off. On Almiron. See this game up now, hopefully we'll be all right. Let's take off to that. Oh, we can't. Right, see what we can do. Hopefully, oh, we've got a corner. 
There's Corey. Corey's over here on the outside. He doesn't like being in the uh, six yard box by the looks of it. Oh, nearly. All right, four minutes left. Let's just see this game up now. No, this is not what we want. A highlight for them. Jesus Christ, how did they not score? I do not know. Thank God for that. Very sloppy by us there. Alright, what are we going to do here with the last highlight of the game, probably? Oh, beautiful little pass there. Oh, Korea. Super so Korea. Korea. I'm just going to call him Angel. Angel. Angel on our shoulder, Angel. We're now fifth in the Champions League. So we've secured a playoff spot. That's good. Southgate spotted at St. James Park to Ferguson, Nick Pope, Keem and Trippier, Matthew Target and Anthony Gordon. Got some potentially very good players coming through the youth system in the next intake. I don't want to. I don't want to sign him a new contract. I want to release him because he's rubbish. I want rubbish here at Newcastle. We only want good players. But yeah, it annoys me when they do this. I see the point because all I'm going to do is that. Then this. Then he's gone. No, that was pretty pointless blocking that move, wasn't it? Back in the wage budget. And get the ball to agree to anything on the stadium, maybe. Get him to get a... Oh, no, there's no point doing this. I forgot. Uh, do it. Already got loads of, uh, loads of feeder clubs at Newcastle. Right, that'll do. What are we doing for, doing for time? We've got a while yet, we're all right. Try and get as much as December done as possible so we can uh, start the next stream with the getting the January transfer window through, but that will be tomorrow. Right then, so line up for Leeds away in the Premier League next is Pope in goal, Livermento is right back. Diamande and Bottom, Bottman, sorry, in the centre of defence. Target on the left. Bruno Gomez in the middle with Joe Linton. Angel on the right. Diaz in the middle. Gordon on the left and Isaac up front. Everyone having for tea, then I'm having um, having meatballs and pasta, I think. I had castor, chicken casserole last night it was all right. It wasn't anything special. Not really. I'm, as you can tell by my 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 big belly. Well, you can't see my big belly, but you can see my double chin. As you can see by my uh, my stat my stature, I'm a bit of a hefty guy, and it's no coincidence because I don't really like eating vegetables. I'm forcing myself to eat them more down there. I'm trying to get in better shape. I'm trying to lose weight. I've lost a bit of weight. I go to the gym a lot. I like going to the gym and I like walking, but I just don't. My diet's not the best. I have too much of a sweet tooth.
Right, Bruno Gomez with the free kick. I don't know what he was trying to do. It was so audacious, that free kick. Nearly, nearly worked for him there. Uh, Gordon's knackered. But... Uh, come on. Right, Libramento drives it forward to Diaz. Diaz to Sergio Busquets. Target now. Loses the ball. Still nil nil after 62 minutes. Do we get in the goal soon? Beautiful ball to Correa. Damn it, we need to score then. Oh. Right, Diaz is knackered as well, so we'll put on Coot. We draw nil nil. We need to we need to get like a, a winning streak on the go for us to have any chance of a top four finish. Teams there stronger than us at the moment. Not on the forest being the surprise team at six. So uh, we're like if we want to get top four, we're six points behind Man United, and uh, there's a very little chance of us winning the Premiership. Eleven points behind Man City. So I'm not even considering us being lot of contenders this season now which is a shame i feel like i improved the team and it seems to be getting worse hello to whoever's just joined the steam uh join the twitch chat i don't know how to I don't know how to set it up so it tells me when some, the name of the person that joins it just tells me that somebody's joined so i apologize so whoever you are hello feel free to Say hello in the chat so I know who you are. Boot in town away next. We, uh, we, we should beat him really. I'm going to see if he'll sign a new contract because he's a very good player. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're all right with that because we do play inside forwards anyway. Hotman out three to five days, so I don't think he'll be playing this much. Jordi Alba. Not happy. To go out on loan. Mm, no. You're good. You're you're playing enough, in my opinion. You you played the last game, didn't you? How many games you played? You played six games. Thirty five years old. Just just relax. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the rest of your career. You're probably retiring at the end of the season. You and your mate Messi and Suarez and Busquets are all probably going to go out into the sunset. You've all, you know, the three of you decided to leave Miami for sunny Newcastle upon time. Suarez come from Brazil, I think. Oh, is Jordi, Jordi Alba's happy now all of a sudden? Oh. Um, Aren't playing position and roll as he has been used to in other Super Bowl. Okay, fair enough, whatever. At least that's nice to see because before it was so one sided, they would always kick off not playing in their favorite role, which I never understand because I just think players should just play where they're meant to play and not moan and just. It does your head in. It's just it's another thing about FM I don't particularly like. Right then, 
So we've got Luton Town away in the next game. I don't think we've had a home game for a while, to be honest. Um, we've got Pope in goal, Trippier right back, Mancini in the centre defence with the HL, Byrne on the left, Nani and Joe Linton in the middle of midfield, Messi on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osimhen up front. So glad I got used to saying Osimhen. Called him so many different, I had so many different variations of his surname at one point. As I said, I'm terrible at pronouncing people's names. In an ideal world, I just in an ideal world, I just name all of these Jack and Joe. Easy to remember them. If we win this, they've got two games ahead of us, so there's no point even. I think I think top six is the target now, really. Realistic one. If we're really lucky, we can get top four. But the other teams have... I mean, Jesus Christ. Why do I open my mouth? Burn now. Get a, no, let's get a goal straight away. And show Luton that we can do... That we're not scared of them. Come on. That's it. Diaz. Shoot. Yes, go on, get in. Goalkeeper had no chance. Right. Show them that we are going to destroy them. We lose possession though. Can we get it back? Oh, good save by Pope. Another highlight for Luton. Have we just conceded a penalty? We have just conceded the penalty. As soon as he's going to go up here, he's going to be penalty to Luton bloody town. Come on, hurry up. End all day. You know what it's going to be. Yep, penalty. Luton now with the penalty. Italano lines up, scores. Ugh. Losing to Luton. Deggy would be happy, wouldn't you? One of my favourite GTA role players. Oh. Die hard Luton fan. Fair play to him. Luton in the Premiership. You probably never thought that was going to happen. Right. Let's berate the team. We're not happy. Berate the team. Hopefully that will inspire them to play well. Trippier now. Keeps going. He floated in. Oh, that's a that's a penalty. Come on, that's a penalty. Come on. Come on, ref. Yes. Messi with the penalty. He never misses a penalty. Well, I don't think he does. Will he miss this one? No, he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. The GOAT gets a penalty. All right, Luton now in possession. Try and get this off him. We don't, want them to, we don't want to concede another goal. We don't want to be keep playing catch up with them. Thank you. Great right, save by Pope. Another free kick to Luton. It's not looking good, is it? All right, we've got possession. What can we do with it? We don't do anything by looks of it then. Right, let's see if I can fire up the team. And we're on on now. Linton looks tired, so we'll take off. We'll get on. Some men's not been playing well, so we'll put Isaac on. Uh, can't make any more subs now, so we just gotta get on with it.
Ah, we 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 missed a golden opportunity to get a win there. Don't be drawing against Luton Town in the you know the fifteenth. We're now three points behind Liverpool. They've got them and Knott's Forest got two games ahead of us. Straighten. Zavo's out for a few days. Us get set for an extra year. Well, that's all right. I don't mind that. In for another year. I'm happy with that. Brentford next game. Maria signs a new contract. See? Nice. We're now playing Brentford. I wouldn't say this is a must-win game, but I would say it's a must-win game, basically. Um, Pope in goal. Libramento was right back. Dr. Monday and E.H. on defence. Target left back. Um, Bruno Gomez and Jolie in the middle of midfield. Correa on the right. Raheem Diaz in the middle. Anthony Gordon on the left. And Austin Hen. Right, we've got the first highlight of the game. Target with the corner. Bounces out. Got two bookings already, that's ridiculous. Three bookings after seven minutes. I couldn't have, couldn't have timed that any better if I tried. Three bookings to our players. Twelve minutes of play. That was a terrible pass, by the way. I think we might need to definitely get a right back in January. Um, Trippier is good, don't get me wrong, but he's getting on a bit. Livermento is decent as backup, but he's not not going to be the type of player that we need to get to the next level. So, um, yeah, definitely need to get a uh, definitely need to get new new fullbacks in general. I think better fullbacks. So we'll probably try and get one in January, one in the summer. Maybe a defensive midfielder in the summer if we can get one decent enough. We're all, I think we're all right. We've got Corey, Ibrahim, Gordon in there. We can sell Barnes in the summer that um, in the in the January transfer window. That'll give us some extra money. We might be able to get a right back and a left back depending on who we can get. Uh, Oh, come on. Right, Brian Diaz loses the ball. That's not what we want. Can we get an equaliser before half time? 
Oh, come on, Gordon. That's a penalty. That's a that's a red card. That is ref. Come on, send him off, ref. That better be a penalty at least. Yes, thank you. And he only gets a yellow card. That's ridiculous. Right, awesome man. Oh come on. Messi should have oh, Messi's not playing, is he? That's probably why Osimhen took it. Messi would have scored that easily. That's a that's a foul. And he's gonna get sent off for that. Yes. Come on, let's turn this around now. Turn the ship around. Down to the rest of the world. Hey, you come here to play. You come here to watch play football manager, but you see if you come here to hear me singing, don't you? That beautiful singing voice, me. Right. On target. Come on, let's get in the goal. Right, that's the men you're coming off because you're, you're playing rubbish. You need someone better than you up front at this rate. Joe Linton needs to come off as well. Okay. How do we get on with that? Where is it? Nahid, we can't get more players off. Arsenal should have scored that penalty. I'm still annoyed at that. Shouldn't be losing 1 0 when they've got 10 men. Needs to get at least a point out of this game. Supermento now. Come on. Yes. Go on, Diaz. Right. Still got time. We can win this game. Should win this game. We need to win this game. We deserve to win this game. We're going to win this game. I need to be more confident. Okay. Right. So, still nine points behind Man City and they've got two games ahead of us. Uh, top four with four points behind, but they've got yeah, it was just. I wish we'd all play the same games at the same time and make it a bit easier to predict, but it's not looking good at the moment. We've gone from being title contenders to hoping we get top six. It's been a bit of a disappointing season. Looking at the board, only want us to get a top half finish. The expectations aren't really there, but I expect more from the players. Right, just gonna go on holiday for these four days. So, come up to 1 hour and 50 minutes of the stream, we'll probably do another 10 minutes and then call it a day. Then I've already done a video I spent this morning editing yesterday's video, so I ain't really had much time to just chill. Uh, I'm just going to chill out for a bit before my girlfriend comes back from work. Um, okay, so they're saying Dan Burns not good enough, so we'll probably get rid of him then.
played before offering a deal for Kieran Trippier. Probably good advice, I suppose. He's 34. No, I'm just going to ignore him. But I'm Trippier to a new contract. 20 years. Two. He only wants two, so I assume he's going to retire after that. Nick Pope is apparently not good enough. Okay. He's going to probably prioritise goalkeeper um, and maybe right left, right back or left back, but I think we probably do need to get a goalkeeper, to be honest. Nick Pope's, I think that's the reason why we our form's dip because of Dick Pope probably not playing good enough. Need to upgrade him. He ain't showing up for three weeks, that's a bit of a annoyance. Would we get Raheem Sterling? 30 years old, what's these? Vicious. I don't, I don't. If we get rid of Harvey Barnes, I'll go for Sterling and use that money for that. Let's just see if we get any money in the January window. But we'll figure that out next stream. Sorry for that noise in the background. There's a, if you can't hear it, there's a helicopter flying past. Uh, they want Jordi Alba, so we'll get rid of him. I mean, we, we didn't sign him for very much, so we might as well. Right, probably the last game of the stream this will be. So, Pope and goal, Trippier on the right, Mancini in the middle of defence with Botman, Target on the left, Nali and Jolie in the mid middle of midfield, Messi back on the right wing, Almer on the middle, Thorne on the left, and Isaac up front. I like to Aston Villa. Maybe we can. Yes, we can. Almiron's a target. Don't know who he was trying to give that to, but we got it back. Gordon. Yes, Almiron with the goal. That's what I like to see. Let's go on a good run now. Let's try and turn the rest of December and January. Go on a good run. Might be able to catch up with a few of these teams that have got games ahead of us. They might, therefore, might dip at the right time for us. You know, if we can get top four and we can get... Oh, God's sake, why do I open my mouth? Canali, you plonker. Right, I won't predict about us going on a good run until we get a win here. Team up for it, though. I just team up for it. Messi seems to have... Uh, Galvanised the rest of the team and said, come on, we can do this. Oh, for God's sake. This is, uh, this is not going well. Right, called into us. Can we get an equaliser before the second half? Come on. Right, Messi to Trippier, Trippier. Yes! Take that, even though it was an own goal, we'll take that. Come on, let's... Not losing now, we're drawing. Back to square one, but we can get a win out of this. Bruce the team. Pope injured. That's not good. This is the problem we've got with Newcastle. We've got it. There's, there's certain players at the club that will take us so far. I mean, they won. I mean, Pope in goal. We won the Premiership last season, but he is not good enough in the long run. We need 
you need a goalkeeper like Donna Ram or whatever his name is who plays for PSG, just somebody like that. Somebody that will help us progress as we go along. Right, he's up now. Can he get the goal? Yes, he can. Good man. Good, 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 good. His ninth goal of the season. Doing well to turn this around, but I'm not going to say anything else because I will jinx it again. Just see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. Take off Messi because he's knackered. Put Suarez up there. No Linton loses the ball. So they're still in possession. Can we get it back off them? Yeah. Do something about this, please. No, no. No. <sighs> this is not going well. Still got time. You never know. Nani needs to come off there. He's playing good. Nani, put Busquets on. Off target, we'll put Jordi Alba there. Jordi Alba. Put the wise old heads on, see if they can produce some magic. Can not lose this game. It's bad enough with bloody drawing. They seem to draw a lot of games in the, uh, this season. Now down to 10. Ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh, I feel like an idiot there. I thought that was us. That was Aston Villa. Free free. Ugh. All right. Pope is out for four to six weeks. Deloney, why was he there? Oh, okay. All right. Let's just keep going and then we'll save it in a second before the Wolves game. Um, thank you to everyone that, that came in to watch the stream, even if it was briefly. Um, feel free to give me any feedback if it's, you know, Newcastle's not exactly the most exciting saves in the world because it's quite easy, but um, how I play football manager usually is I usually don't play the, with the big teams. The only reason I'm doing it is to get used to streaming. So I promise you... We will have some very fun adventures because I will be doing a journeyman save before it's if not in the next couple of weeks after I've done a couple of seasons with these. I'll probably do this season and maybe and then probably next season with Newcastle just to see if I can win the Premiership again because I don't think I'm going to win this season. Um, then we'll call it a day, or I might keep the file and, and go back to it at some point. Jordi Alba's gone. Joined us, so that leaves us a bit of light in the left back position. We need goalkeeper and a left back basically in the January window, and we've got no money, so that's always good, isn't it? If we can get some decent money for Harvey Barnes, that will help in a way. And you never know, if we have a repeat of last season, we'll get some money very late in the January window. I've just got to keep an eye on a few players. Oh, there you go, this would be an interesting one if we can get him in. No, we can't. Damn it. Might be able to get him in some of them. Go for Coates. Just for the sake of it, because he's a good player. Even if we just have him for a year. Um Morris. We'll just we'll let we'll we'll sign him a new contract. The already Delegate, we're not going to go Burns. release him, so we'll set for release Ryan Cassidy. Amy Gray's not good enough, so we'll set him. We'll also, try and terminate his contract. 
and the DV is not good enough, so we'll set him release. Right then, I'm not playing this game, I'm just going to save it at this point. So, um, yeah, on that note, thank you to everyone that joined in and watched. I do appreciate it. Feel free to also subscribe to me or watch a couple of videos on YouTube. I always appreciate it. So, if you want to go on YouTube and search for Lutra FM, you can find me on there. I've got the same logo as I've got on my Twitch, so it should be quite easy to find. If, I, if you can't find me, just let me know next time you see me on Twitch and I'll try and help you. Um, yeah, on that note, I'm just going to exit there. I'm going to leave you to it, but have a nice evening. All the best, and thank you for watching.